My name is Lillian Vincent, and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and we're associated with the Myocarditis Foundation after the passage of our daughter. She died at the age of 13. John Vincent, uh, same thing, daughter passed at 13. Um, not, we didn't just lose a, a daughter like the species, lost a, an asset or a, other things. She was just a, a wonderful girl, and um, yeah, viral myocarditis really took a big chunk out of it. First uh, we heard was um, Hopkins. Uh, my wife works at Johns Hopkins, and after our daughter's death, we scrambled to find out why. And um, when we talked to uh, co-workers at Hopkins, they kind of got a team together and just started doing research on their own. And their best guess was uh, viral myocarditis. Um, we didn't really find out conclusively that it was until after the autopsy, months later. The Friday, um, she had a, a lacrosse game, great game. She played, she ran, she scored a bunch of goals. Um, one of the best games that she's ever had. Uh, Saturday went okay, but in the evening of the Saturday, she had um, a headache while shopping, so they cut the, the shopping expedition early, came home. Um, but you know, after a bath and shower or whatever, it was, um, she felt better. Um, the morning she went to church, and during church she felt a little off, so uh, she went and laid down in the van. Um, uh, I talked to her, you know, from work uh, while she was in the van. I said, oh, "That's the best thing for you to get some rest and all." Um, Monday morning, she felt obligated to help out with uh, the morning announcements and stuff. So she went to school. Um, somebody at school noticed and said, "You know, you don't look right. You should go to the nurse." And she sent her home. First time she's ever been sent home. She's never been a sick child or anything like that. Um, so she sent her Monday um, in the evening after a shower and all that stuff. She felt better. Maybe it was blood flow from the heat or the water or whatever. But uh, Tuesday morning passed away. It's like uh, she seemed like she wanted to eat more that Tuesday morning, um, and we thought well, her hunger's coming. That means the the illness is uh, leaving. So we are right out of the woods there. Um, but uh, she went back to sleep. Woke up. Felt dizzy. Went to take her upstairs. She passed out, and uh, I caught her before she hit the floor. And, uh, you know, the paramedics came. Yeah. And when the paramedics asked her what hurt, she said, my chest. And that was the first time she'd ever said anything about any sort of pain. After Caitlin passed away, um, I did a lot of research. And we had the autopsy report that came back as myocarditis. Um, I, through the internet, I found the Myocarditis Foundation. And, and then uh, we, we created a Facebook page and it's allowed us to connect with a bunch of other people who've been affected in one way or another by myocarditis. And the family support meeting has been great for connecting with people who've been there. There's always gonna be coulda, shoulda, woulda. What did we miss? What did we not see? The fact is, even the, the doctors at the emergency room didn't know. I think some of the problem may be in medical school, a friend of mine was in medical school shortly after Caitlin had passed away, and she said, we barely touched on myocarditis in our studies. I think if, if medical students are made more aware of it, the possibility of it happening, it might help with diagnosis. It's important because we need to find some way so that no other parent has to go through burying their child because of myocarditis. Um, I know what we've been through and I don't want anybody else to have to deal with it.